So in this video, we will be seeing corresponding operator which is available in ABAP 7.4 onwards. So let's create a new program Z underscore corresponding corresponding operator executable save local object so basically we will be using this corresponding operator to move the content from one table to another table and we also be seeing some of the different variants for this corresponding operator so first let's create a content table basically so fields star into table data and lt underscore carr and uh, let's display let's display this data first lt underscore crr so we have got our full data in one internal table and now what we will be doing is we will be moving some of the data from this internal table to another internal table okay so for that let's create an another internal table here data R2 and type standard table of SCARR. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to move all the content from this internal table to this new internal table. So we want to move the content into this internal table and we want to move all of the fields of this table that's it let's display this cn underscore demo underscore output and display we will be displaying lt underscore scr2 and make it right so now we have two tables with exactly same number of records with same number of columns so what we have done here is we have moved all of the data from this table to this table using a corresponding operator now what if we do not want to move all of the fields So here what it has done is it has moved all of the available fields from this internal table to this specific internal table. Now what we want to do is we want to move specific fields into a new internal table from the existing one. So 
let's create a new internal table of type SCARR and in this let's move corresponding hash and then from which table you want to move you want to move from SCARR but we do not want to move carrier name and URL so this accept keyword will play a role to restrict these two fields to be moved from this table to this table okay now let's display this see arr3 and change it to right okay so this is our original table this is our copy table and this is our new table where we have restricted these two fields to be copied over so these fields we have added in the accept clause we do not want to move the content of these two fields into this new table so this is how the accept keyword works if you do not want to move specific columns then you can use this keyword now if you want to map some of the values from one internal table to another internal table how you can use this corresponding keyword let's see so for that let's create a new structure types begin of ty underscore carr and end of ty underscore carr we'll add some of the fields carr id type s underscore carr underscore id then name s underscore name currency code type s underscore currency code URL type s underscore CRR URL and then we will be adding two new fields here with name type s underscore CARR name and web URL type s underscore c a r r u r l now what we want to do is we want to move the carrier name and the u r l to these two new fields okay so we will be using our same internal table which we have created above here let's create a new internal table lt underscore crr underscore new type standard table of sc ty underscore scarr so this is our new internal table which will be having records into these two fields moving from 
this field and this original field of SCRR table. Okay. So how we can do this is I want to move records into this table using corresponding keyword from this table and map the name value with CARR name and the web URL to URL field and do not move CARR name as well as URL field. So what we have done here is we want to move all of the fields from this table to this new table where carrier name and URL fields of this original table will be gone to will be mapped to these two fields of our new internal table and we do not want to move the carrier name and URL field into new internal table from the old one. So basically the output will have these two fields will be blank and whatever value these two fields are having in the original table in this table will now be mapped to these new two fields. Okay. Now let's see the output. Copy and let's display this and change it to right. Execute. This is our original table with carrier name and URL field. Then we use the accept keyword. And now the carrier name, all the values have been mapped to a new column with the name name. And the URL, all the values from this column is now mapped with the web URL column. So this is how the mapping and accept keyword works with corresponding. That's all for this video. If you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.